What's up, everybody? Haunt me view crew of three. Three. I had to double check myself. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? We are out here. Whew. Misty. Oh, it's misty night at dank. Lehigh Valley Scream Park. Opening mm. night. Opening yes. night, yes. I guess technically last week was supposed to be opening night, but a little hurricane blew through. Yeah. yeah kinda, put a you know. damper on things. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Unintended. So, but this is their new opening night. What a blast. I loved it. Oh, man. That's so much fun. We did. Absolutely. And, and it, this is one of those places that it's not like every other place. It is, I mean, there are some similarities, but they have a purpose built attraction in here, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And it's, it's built into, it's built, it's hard built, so it's not something that moves. Um, we do want to talk real quick. I just want to say because we just finished eating, food was good. They have the best fries. And so, a big shout out to the ladies uh, at the trailer that sells the french fries. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yummy, yummy. Fries, Fresh potatoes. Oh, it's so good. Yes. Grown right here on the farm. Yep. And then, uh, what else? They got that don't You had some donuts. Uh, oh, I tried one of them. mini apple cider donuts. So good. Oh, they were warm. It's apple cider donuts is so perfect this time of year. It is. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, I, I'll tell you, the, the hayride, We first thing we got on the hayride, the hayride was insane. Um, this is one where your feet dangle off the side yeah. instead of... Your back is facing everything. There's yeah. a hanger. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, their scenes, um, the actors, the, the scenes were very well done. Um, the actors had a great creep factor, um, interaction, dialogue. Um, it oh, wasn't the, just your, your the, the interaction was so much the, fun. Yeah, interaction was fun. And the hayride, you're going down hills and up hills and, you know, hanging off the side. It really kind of, really immerses you. <laughs> you're like, whoa, whoa. It does. And one thing with the hayride that we enjoyed uh, as we went through, there were actors in places that were not necessarily scenes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Just random. Yeah. Uh, shout out to those actors hanging out in areas, that these remote areas. Mm -hmm. And just chilling, waiting for the, the yep. hayride to come by before they come out. Yeah, I mean, and I, I also love the way the actors will kind of follow the hayride. As yes. you were leaving a scene, they will follow and even some of them would follow and get up on the hayride and interact halfway up the trail before they would then, you know, disembark and, and go back to their scene. So they kind of kept you immersed in that attraction even past that scene. And what makes it even a, a, a little different thing is when you're hanging off the side of the hayride, you sit down on the hayride, but your legs hang off the side. So you, you're kind of, you know, you're a little closer to the action. Yep. Mm -hmm. You get a better you're view. facing everything, and it's right there in your face or at your feet sometimes. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, the whole feet thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, but one thing that I will say about the hayride that we, we that really makes it nice is no matter which side you're on, there there's scares and entertainment yeah. on both sides. Yeah. And first and foremost, shout out to the, the line system that they have. So you start at the hayride, and when you come in, you are given a number for your group, and mm -hmm. then your number will be displayed up on the skeleton at the entrance to the hayride. So you get to hang out in, in the uh, the midway area at the bonfire, uh, you know, grab food, drink, whatever. Um, but I really do like that numbering system. Mm. Um, it really is a good line management technique. It's a great way to really um, one one. It, it's a great way to keep everyone organized. But when you're hanging out, what's it called? Six feet under is the the midway area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. DJ's awesome. Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, he, man. Yeah, he keeps it very entertaining. Fire pits to hang out at. Plenty. I mean, we yes. talked about the food. I mean, we talked about the the fries and barbecue. Yeah. We talked about the donuts. Mm -hmm. We didn't mention the uh, the fresh made pizza. Oh yes, and, and, and what did you have? I Amanda? had a margarita Jello shot in a, a real shot. syringe. <laughs> I get to keep mm. it. <laughs> oh, and to, to Richard's point about the barbecue, let me just tell y'all something. As somebody who likes to uh, smoke some meat, 
they they had an actual grill sitting out there with the meat not 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 barbecue in a can y'all know what i'm talking about not that stuff this was not that this was real barbecue low and slow cooked the right way so so to move on with uh from the hayride that's where you start you go from there to the psychopath that's a corn walkthrough oh yes and that's <laughs> a lot of fun that's, oh my gosh and you know what they took a relatively small space and turned it into about 10 15 minute walkthrough oh yeah lots of twists and turns and what i liked yep. about it uh, oh, two things i liked about it uh one was how they made it almost like an inside out um type walkthrough so while you're out in a cornfield and you're walking you're kind of in in and out these little you know buildings that they've they've put in place and the um you know the the one we started in where it was like totally foggy and they had actors in there and you couldn't really see great great timing great like distraction technique and everything and then when you come out and you're like oh wow that's right i'm in a cornfield you almost forgot when you started that hey i'm gonna be in a corn maze mm -hmm. And the, the cool thing with the corn maze, uh, and, and Rich talked about this, that they were not people sitting where you expect them to be. Uh -uh. First of all, you didn't see them <clears throat> until they got you. Yep. Oh, yeah. And, oh, and yeah. just because we're telling you this, you won't know. Mm -mm. Sorry. So uh, we, we definitely want to just give a big shout out to all of the actors. And this is one of the places, and we were talking amongst ourselves mm -hmm. about this. It blew us away, the dialogue of these actors. Absolutely. It was like walking through a creepy, I don't know. Comedy show. It was, because <laughs> if you said something, they were like right back at they, you they with a listen. quickness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was not scream, get out, oh, call us back, whatever the hell. This was, this was not that kind of party. No. These actors had some training and they were on point absolutely it, it really was uh, you know part comedy show part horror show um because you, you hey know, it, it, that guy we that one actor oh i want a shirt i want a shirt we we remember you brother man yes we do <laughs> yeah we do, we do. <clears throat> very good very good interaction very good uh timing yeah. excellent uh placement in in the the cornfield just randomly you know, here's somebody. Um, and then, <laughs> sorry, it just when you talk about the interaction, I, I was just reminded of when we moved on to the uh, the bio purge. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and we had to go through the hole. Like, get to the hole. In the background, we hear. That's what, what she, she said. said. <laughs> Dude, I about died. <laughs> and what made it so crazy was the timing was right on. Right on point. Right on point. And the girl in the elevator. Okay. What were you speaking? What language was that? I think it was a, a, a plethora of languages. It's like Chino Latino. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it's, then she was honestly. Like, okay, you got it? And we're like, no, we don't. Because she started off with English. And it went somewhere it went else. Some, it, just, went into like, it just started bouncing around. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'd never heard people mix up that many languages at one time. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. That takes a lot of talent to be able to do that. It does. That's called the uh, diversity, yeah. equity, and inclusion. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yes, at BioPurge, that is your, your walkthrough. Uh, kind of like a zombie uh, apocalypse ap apocalypse uh, radio uh, radioactive yep you know and um, you know lots of run from the zombies we'll, we'll say and, that, and, that let, and let me just tell you that was one of that was one very well put together very consistent mm -hmm. throughout the attraction yes. of, that, that you knew yes. what your theme was you you knew what was going on you understood you know the setup I love that the, the, the the theme stays mm -hmm. consistent. Mm -hmm. Which is something that's hard to do in a haunted attraction. Because people try to throw a lot of things in there. But this this was from beginning to end, you knew you were in the same attraction. Mm -hmm. So it, it worked mm -hmm. out well. And then the uh, the last thing the was condemned. Uh, condemned. House. And, I, and you know what? Condemned. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That this, was fun. This was uh this I don't know, this this is just different here. Yeah, you know, and I'm not trying to say I'm not trying to put it above anything else or any of that. I, I'm just saying 
what was done here was well thought out. Sometimes people just throw random junk in random places. Mm -hmm. This was not. This is not that party. They, they took time. Somebody they took, sat about down it. and mapped this out mm -hmm. and did this, mm -hmm. and it just it worked and it flows so well. So come on out, check out the food. Tell the DJ we told you to check him out. Dude was laying down some serious music, and I you know I used to DJ, so I went back to see his setup and talked to him a little bit. Man, the dude's got a nice setup. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good uh, job. Oh, and just, you know, FYI for Condemned, if you don't like t tight spaces, hmm. If you don't like dark Sorry. spaces, hmm. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, you little cla claustrophobic. Is that how you pronounce it? Cla closet phobic. Closet phobic, I'm afraid yes. to be in closets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, that, nurse, is that how you pronounce it? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that was, it. man, oh, <laughs> you, think, you think you know where you're going? You know you nothing. nothing. Mm -mm. So, big shout out. We are so glad we came back, came out tonight. It was kind of a last minute thing for us. We were kind of figuring out where we're going to go, where we're going to go, if we were going to go anywhere. Trying to figure out where it wouldn't be raining. <laughs> but, you know, hey, the rain, mm. yeah, it, it held, is what it is. It held off enough for us to come through and, and mm. really enjoy the attraction and all the pieces and parts of it. So come on out, check it out. It's great people. They have awesome security, so you you feel comfortable here. They, they really have security everywhere. So you'll be fine. Oh, and by the way, they also have games. They have uh, axe throwing and mm. the the toss the heads and the in the the basket thing too. So you you do have you know some extra fun stuff in the, in the midway area. A resident gamer over here. But, uh, so we thank you, uh, thank you, buddy, and your whole crew. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Awesome job. Awesome job. Yes, we and we hope to see you again soon and. We may be working uh, some off-season. Yeah, some stuff coming. We got some stuff coming. Yeah. So we're out of here. Jackie and Gid, we miss you, of course. The Todd, the Heather. Todd, you're doing some, miss laying down some work, man. Hey, Todd is at Fright Reads right now. There's a Fright, Fright Reads Festival right now. I believe that's Maryland. That's where Todd is. Representing the Haunt Review crew like a boss, like he always does. Hanging out with First Jason. Oh, yeah. yeah, first Jason. For y'all don't know, Todd is really one of the best at, at, at doing he's one of the and, best interviewers. Oh yes. yeah, he's, he can get them. That that really is his natural talent, and he does a great job. And we're grateful uh, that he does it, and uh, he represents the, the group uh, professionally. He does a great job. So y'all, we out. Hey, hey, young Heather, she she's out watching her nephew's football game. Heather, uh, it's funny. No nephew. Hey, it's funny to do a video without Heather, to be honest, because she is she is a stone cold trooper. <laughs> stone yes, you cold. Her. Heather, we will see you soon, young lady. All right. Peace and Facebook, hair grease. Twitter, Instagram, the YouTubes. Yeah, all the Come tubes. Come check us out. All Indeed. The tubes. Let people know we're here. And... All the tubes. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> me no likey. Catch you guys later. <laughs>